Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be installing Bliss OS onto a USB drive. I'm in disk management right here and here's my C drive and I have a 32 gigabyte USB drive connected and also as well as a 64 gigabyte USB drive and there's only 29 gigabytes is actually usable on the 32 gigabyte drive and 58 gigabytes for the 64 gigabyte drive but that's more than sufficient so now I'm going to download Bliss OS all right, so go to blissos.org and then go to download on the right side. And then I'm going to pick Bliss OS 15 as that's the latest one. Bliss OS 16 is in beta. And I'm going to download the one with G apps, with Google Apps, and then go to SourceForge. And then I'm going to download the ISO file. I've already downloaded it. And then next I'll have to download Rufus so I can put the ISO image onto the USB drive. So go to rufus.ie and scroll down and I'm going to download the portable version. And now it's downloaded. I'm going to open up Rufus and I'll check for updates. All right. And so I'm going to make sure my 32 gigabyte drive is selected here. And then I'm going to select my ISO, Bliss OS 15.9. And I'll keep the rest as defaults. And then I'm going to hit start right in ISO image mode. Okay. And it says the download here is required. Hit yes. And it's giving a warning. Okay. All right, and it has completed. And now I'm going to reboot and then I'm going to go into the BIOS. Now I'm in the BIOS, go to boot. And we see here that boot option number one is my USB device. So it'll automatically boot from my USB drive here. And if I go to save and exit, there's a boot override and I can boot directly from it as well. But I'm just going to discard changes because it will automatically boot from my USB drive. So you may need to make changes or you can just do a one time depending on how your BIOS is set up. So I'm just going to discard changes and resets. All right, so it's booted from the USB drive here. Now I'm going to select Bliss OS installation. Hit OK. All right, and here it's asking to select a EFI system partition. And so this is my NVMe drive. So this is not my USB drive. So I'll have to create a new partition on my USB drive. So go to create modify partitions. And here I'm going to select my 64 gigabyte USB drive, which is SDB. No, continue to CF disk. I'm going to create a new partition, one gigabyte primary and I'm going to change the type. This will be type EFI and then the remainder free space and hit new and then the remaining space 57.6 gigabytes primary and the type is Linux so no changes there and I'm going to write the partition table to a disk. Yes and now I'm going to quit. Hit OK. And now I'm going to select my EFI system partition. So that's SDB1 here. Hit OK. Yes, I'll format as FAT32. Keep the label as a default. Yes, to confirm. Now it's asking where to install Bliss OS. So that's going to be SDB2, which is the 57 gigabytes partition here. OK. Format it as EXT4. And the label will be Bliss OS. Confirm, yes. All right, the installer is asking to prepare for OTA update over the air. So I'm going to do yes. And here it's asking to select a bootloader. So Grub2 or Refine. I'm going to pick Grub2. EFI boot entries for previous Bliss OS installations were found. You wish to delete them? Yes. And here it detected a Windows installation on my machine and Grub2 may not be able to detect your Windows installation due to some limitations. That's fine because this is on a USB drive, so I'm going to hit OK. So this will take a little bit of time to install. All right, so Bliss OS is installed successfully. It's asking to run it or to reboot. I'm going to reboot, go into the BIOS so we can see the USB drives. All right, I'm in the BIOS, going to save and exit. All right, so we see here that has my two drives here and the first drive 
my 32 gigabyte drive and this is where the bliss os iso is on and my 64 gigabyte drive which is where my bliss os was installed on so i'm going to remove my 32 gigabyte usb drive now as i no longer need it and i'm just going to boot it right now bliss os all right so it's booted into the usb drive and there are different Bliss OS boot options here, depending on your hardware, may need to select a different option. But I've had success with the fourth option when the others don't work. Okay, I'm at the welcome screen here. So I'm gonna hit start. And it's asking to connect to a Wi-Fi so you can add in your new network. I'm gonna set up offline as I already have an ethernet connection. Continue. And I'm gonna just disable some of these services here, location and scanning, and sending usage and diagnostic data. All right, it's asking to protect your tablet. I'm gonna do not now, skip. All right, it's asking to select a home app. So the taskbar, quick step or smart dock, I'll use the taskbar. I'm gonna grant permission. All right, so I'm in Bliss OS, and if I want to go back into Windows, restart. All right, so it's booted into Grub here, and if you want to boot into Windows, you just select Windows at the bottom, or you can just remove your USB drive as you have Bliss installed on it, and it should automatically boot into Windows. So that's it. That's how you can install Bliss OS onto a USB drive. And I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.